I think she's going to have to do more to help people feel supportive of her. A developing story this morning. Students, faculty, and staff continue to push for the University of Texas Board of Regents to reconsider their nomination of former Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson. Now, this is video from yesterday showing many gathering to voice their concerns at a protest plan ahead of Wilson's visit. Now, Wilson is expected to meet with a number of those students, faculty, and staff groups today. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from UTEP in West El Paso with more on her plans and the answers many are still demanding. The former congresswoman is the sole finalist to replace Diana Natalicio. However, as we reported, she is facing backlash for her past voting record. Now, this is the second time that Wilson will be visiting the university since the UT Board of Regents selected her as the finalist for the position. During her visit earlier this month, Wilson said she treats everyone with dignity and respect. And this visit, she plans to focus on meeting and and meeting directing with students and faculty to hear their concerns however some students feel that she is only meeting with certain students and faculty and not giving everyone the opportunity to voice their needs and concerns to talk to her not everyone that matters gets to talk to her um, unfortunately they have divided us as a body and I just don't think that, you know, she did this the right way, even though she is, you know, taking a step in coming here and trying to be the bigger person about it. But unfortunately, like I said, she had one opportunity to do, to do this right, and she did. Some of the concerns they want addressed include Wilson's vote in favor of a constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriage and votes against equal protections for LGBTQ people when it comes to employment discrimination and hate crimes. Now, just a reminder, these meetings will be closed, but Wilson plans to meet early this morning, and the meetings are expected to last late into the evening. Reporting live in West El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.